Incorporating loops and samples is a powerful way to elevate your music production. You can use sample libraries like Splice or dig through your personal collection using any other sample library. I'm going to guide you through importing loops and samples from your computer directly into Ableton Live. You'll learn how to drag and drop files from an app or your computer, align them with your project and then arrange them. For this example, I'm going to be using Splice, a popular cloud-based sample platform. This is a downloadable application. I've already chosen the sample I want to use, so I'll simply drag and drop it into my project. Here I recommend always dragging onto a definite number. 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Dragging in between these measures might cause issues when it comes to aligning to tempo. Let's press play and have a listen. As you probably heard, the end of the sample wasn't in key with my track. So I'm going to cut the sample in half. Just hold the end of the sample and drag it back to where you want. I'm now going to duplicate this sample over the main instrumental bits by pressing Command D for as many times as I want to copy it. I'll leave my B section empty. I won't play the whole thing, but together it should sound something like this. <laughs> 